بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اینڈ ویلکم ٹو مائی یوٹیوب چینل ایز یو ہیو سین دا سبجیکٹ آف دس ٹیٹوریل آن مائی تھم نیل وی آر گوئنگ ٹو لرن گرافکس ان سی پلس پلس سو دیر آر سم پری ریکوزٹس فار دس ٹیٹوریل دیٹ یو شوڈ فالو اینڈ ان دس ویڈیو انیشلی آئی ول ٹیل یو ہاؤ یو کین ایڈ دا گرافکس لائبریری ٹو یور پروجیکٹ ٹو یور ڈیو سی پلس پلس so uh, this is essential to include it in your uh, include folders of dev c++ because without these libraries you can't do graphics in c++ right so first of all uh, before starting off i want to remind you that if you are new to c++ and you don't have any knowledge about c++ then you must go through some of the basics of C++ then come back to these tutorials so you can understand fairly about this graphics problems so now I have opened a project already but I will show you how you can add libraries in your dev C++ okay uh, right now I am going to close my uh, recent project so what you have to do you have to first download these libraries i have given the link in the description then you can add them into your folder so first of all what you have to do i have downloaded it here and there are three files in it right graphics and win bgm and library bgi right what you have to do after downloading these files you have to copy these two files so after copying these two files you have to go to your drive where have you installed your dev c++ right so i have installed it i have installed it in program files it's in here in dev c++ now in your ming gw folder then your include folder here you have to paste those two files right here they are graphics and winbgm now again go to your folder here and copy the third file this one dot a and again go to your installation folder then dev c++ then ming gw then you have to go to your library folder right and paste it over here right here it is now again copies those two files from your download folder here they are these previous one files this one and this one copy them go to your installation folder again dev c++ and ming gw now you have to go to this folder saying x86 underscore 64 dash w 64 right go in there go in include folder and paste them here right those two files header files now the third file here it is now the third file uh, the file which is with extend dot uh, a extension right this file copy this one again go to your installation folder here and ming gw and then again this folder x86 folder and then its library folder and paste it over here right actually this is your object file after uh, adding your files to your include folders now you can run your graphics uh, programming in dev c++ but before creating uh, uh, any type of file you have let me create a project right 
so I am going to create a project you have to create an empty project name it whatever you want so I am going to name it graphics to to real right empty project your name and then ok and it will ask you to save it so I am going to save it in my CPP graphics save now our project has been created but we can't use graphics libraries still first you have to ensure that you have selected the 32 bit release over here and then go to your project tab then project options then your parameters so here are some parameters that must be included before writing any type of code right i am giving these uh, parameters in the description of this video so you can copy them from there so here are the seven parameters that you must include for your project so you can have no errors in your program I am going to add them they are also in the description of the uh, video you can copy them from there right so now our project is ready uh, means everything is ready to code with right so today we are going to draw a simple line on a graph so you can come up with initial points with this graphic tutorial <coughs> So I am going to zoom it now, Go, going to tool option, editor options. I am going to increase the font so you can see it easily. As usual we are, uh, we have to include our library first and uh, it should be graphics.h right and now our main program will start from here now uh, before uh, going with this program you must have knowledge about the graphs coordinates and what are the x-axis and y-axis and how we can manipulate them or uh, more specifically you must know about uh, geometry trigonometries and other uh, mathematical expressions so you can build your logic uh, or you can do uh, write your pseudo codes before going on with the project so first for every project we have to initiate a graph initialize our graph and this uh, graph will take some parameters these are graph drivers graph mode and a constant uh, which we call detect so these are the must parameter for the graph to initialize right so i am going to this gd is for graph driver then we have a detect it is built in in graphics library and then we have graph mode so any other coordinates x and y we can initialize them in here after writing this then we have to initialize our graph so for initializing graph init graph and then it takes some parameters like its first parameter is the pointer to graph driver then a pointer to graph mode and then a character pointer array for the graph driver so i am going to leave it empty right now we have initialized our graph our program know that we are going to draw a graph so now uh, this is a basic line so we can draw it on our graph and in this line uh, it takes four parameters x1 x2 x1 y1 x2 and y2 x1 and y y1 is the point of coordinates of x1 and y1 as we know the graph if you are familiar with the coordinates then you may know that this is our graph this is our x-axis and this is our y-axis so the point this point it is y1 y0 and x0 starting point 
now and they should be x1 x2 sorry x2 x3 and so on likewise y1 y2 and y3 and so on so we are going to draw this line on x1 y1 so x1 and y1 is occurred here so this is our first point and the second point is x2 and y2 in the so if you want uh, x let's put this is x10 right and we want this point to be x2 likewise here x y2 y10 so if the value of x2 is 10 and y and the value of y is 10 then this point will be come over here now if you want to draw a line between them we need four point uh, two points and four coordinates right so i think it should be enough for you so i'm going to initiate it with five this is x1 and y1 is five again then x2 x2 will be 100 and y2 y2 will be 5 again it will draw a straight line right how uh, sorry one thing more in the screen we count the x-axis and y-axis from the top left corner of the screen right if this is our screen this will be its 0 0 right this is x-axis and this is our uh, sorry this is x-axis and this is our y-axis so this is the 0 0 if and if this is x2 then y2 should be here and we start from it here right <coughs> now if we run this program and see what happened so it is asking me to save this program okay i am going to save it as lecture one program is compiled and now run okay this is not sustaining so we have missed something we have to write here get char then close our graph and at the end return 0 to terminate the program successfully we will compile it again and then I am going to run it and here it is as you can see so as you can see in this window this line is drawn so this is five points away from the x-axis let me explain you this is our x-axis and this is our y-axis and our line is drawn right about here so this is y5 this is 5 and this is 5 and this is 100 as we have defined in our line function and this space is also 5 right so this is x1 this is y1 this is x2 and this is y2 so that's it this is how we draw our line in computer graphics so for today's video that's enough we will come back with next video with more complicated shapes and more interesting shapes stay tuned with me don't forget to subscribe my channel like the video and share it up till next video allah hafiz